bet you didn't know you could code in Canva. Ready? Let's do this. Today, we're diving into one of the most exciting features Canva has ever introduced, and it's called Canva Code. If you've ever thought creating apps or quizzes, calculators, interactive widgets was way out of your reach because you don't know how to code, then you're going to absolutely love this tutorial. Canva just changed the game at Canva Create 2025, and just like they made design accessible to everyone, they're now doing the same with code. We're smashing massive learning curves. Now it's just you. Canva AI, a good idea, and a few prompts. Today, I'll walk you through everything you need to know about using Canva code for your business. I'm Natalia, and I help you create better content and grow on social media. So let me show you this big new Canva update. But first things first, what actually is Canva code? Well, it's their new AI feature that lets you build interactive tools and experiences just by describing them in your own words. It's part of the new Canva AI toolkit, and you can find it on the homepage along with the design for me, create an image, draft a doc, and here's your code for me option. I feel like the goal here is to make coding as simple and intuitive as designing a post. But let's talk about what you can actually create with it. The possibilities here are really, really massive, and you already have some suggestions prepared by Canva when you click code for me. You see them right next to the button and also below just to give you a little inspiration since, well, we're all only now figuring out what this feature is all about. During the Canva Create 2020 five event, we've also heard about a few other ideas like mini games, so think Tetris or Pac-Man, super useful calculators like service pricing calculators or savings estimators. So whether you're a creator looking for interactions on your shared designs or lead magnets, maybe a small business owner wanting to spice up your website or an educator building fun learning tools, I'm sure Canva Code is going to be a super interesting resource for you. So let me show you exactly how to find it. So first, you're going to want to you go to your Canva homepage. I'm using the app in here, but it's going to work the same in your browser. And then we're going to click on Canva AI right in here. You can see that it's new. And then from the bottom options, you're going to go for code for me like this. Now, if you don't see this option in your account yet, don't worry, it should be all rolling out to everyone in the coming weeks. Now, let's create something together step by step. Let's say I want to create a fun interactive tool that helps clients pick the perfect service package. I'll act as a social media agency and try to work out something that could help my potential clients make the best decision for them before they even inquire. Now, step one is always to describe your idea. So in the Canva code prompt box in here, I actually prepared this particular prompt. To break it down quickly for you, I said what I want, then for whom. I also am asking multiple choice questions and I gave um, the answers. I know it's formatted a little weird, but it does make sense in general. So I, hopefully it's going to make sense for Canva AI as well. And I'm trying to provide Canva AI with info about some of the packages here below as well with sample prices. And then I also included um, some details on how I want this tool to look. And I also want the end button to open up with um, the mail to link um, to open up their email with my address so that they can easily just get in touch after figuring out the package. So this is my kind of call to action that I've given to Canva at the very end. Now from here, let's click this button in here here to generate. And then we're going to watch Canva AI bring it to life. Now, this is pretty much the only time you'll ever see the code right at this very moment when it comes to life. But I'll talk about it in just a moment. Okay, we've got our code generated, we've got the package tool. So you can see that it actually kind of highlights the answers like this. It is pretty interactive. So we're at 33%. It got three questions out of it. You can see that it made it in kind of vibrant colors. So you can click through it just to see if it works. And it actually does work in here. So I could just click like this on different options. And it actually gave me the starter spark um, option in here. So this is my first version. Now, once your coded element is actually generated, step three would, of course, be trying to tweak it even more with some more additional prompts. Of course, if you're happy, you can just move on. But I like what it gave me. I don't think it's actually on brand for what I envisioned for this kind of fun social media agency. So I will try to add some more details in here. And I actually prepared another prompt in here. So I'm actually making 
everything look more on brand. So I'm changing the main font. I'm telling it to make it bold. I'm giving specific hex codes just to make sure that it's going to match the style that I envisioned for my website that will hold this perfect package thing. So I'm just going to submit the reply in here and let's see what it generates for me. It is my final result. So you can see that it actually tweaked it. Of course, at this stage, you could just keep tweaking. You could change the wording. You can change what it looks like, change the functionality even if you want. If you're happy, and I'm definitely happy for this demonstration, the next step would, of course, be to test it out. Now, to the side in here, you can click through the new widget. So again, as I've done before, I'm just trying to give it answers. I'm just seeing if everything's uh, kind of working fine. I like what it gives me, but maybe at this stage, I would like for the kind of recommended package to appear among other packages as well. So let me try to prompt it. So this is what I said. I'm just going to submit the reply. By the way, if you look at this little microphone, you can actually chat to um, Canva AI. You may know it from other um, AI tools like ChatGPT, for example. So again, it's another layer of trying to make things easier for us. And maybe for some people, it would be much easier to just, you know, again, chat to Canva AI and try to work out a specific version that they're looking for. Okay, let's test our version number three for the last time. So I'm just going to go for this and this and maybe this answer. And it, see, it says you need a custom solution, but you actually see all the other packages in here. Again, what I would ideally prefer is for this custom package to maybe have some graphic elements that would show that this is the actual choice and the actual recommendation from the tool. But I'll leave it at that because literally you could just keep tweaking it, keep making different amendments to it. But for now, once you're happy, you can actually go ahead to use it in design through this button right here. So this will take us to a website design because this is the default that it actually gives us. Now from here, you can see that this is actually a whole design like this. I can actually make it smaller, make it bigger like this. Now I'll just go to publish website here at the very top. You can go to resize on mobile. You can include the navigation me menu. Um, I will leave the name in here and I'll actually leave the link to it down below so that you can just play around with this specific package tool so that you understand what the experience of the user is like. So I'll just hit publish like this. And now if I go to the website as a user to test it out, of course, I can again start clicking, do all the things that I want to do. From here, you can see that I've got this. Of course, this tells me that I would need to stretch it out a little bit more just so that I don't have this annoying slide appearing but this is very easily amendable I can just refresh from here you can see that I now have the whole kind of visibility in here so let's click again let's see what happens and yes you need a custom solution so this is my custom package from here you see the other uh, packages and then I can click on get in touch and this is the particular button that I was very interested in testing because I want to make sure that it opens up an email client just to be able to email and voila it opened up an email with my email address in here so it actually worked it is my email address I just have myself in the contacts of course um, and it's it's just ready to kind of start fleshing out. So at least they have a prompt to contact me if they want to. And this is what this interactive tool looks like. Now, I think this would be the right time to share some of my own impressions and insights from my testing experience. So while Canva code is seriously exciting, it does come with a few limitations at that stage that you should know about. So first of all, I originally wanted to create a client questionnaire where people could just fill it out and I'd get their responses sent directly to my inbox. I even tried connecting it through form submit, but Canva AI just would not send the email. This is because right now Canva code in its current version is not built for collecting or sending data back to you. It's more of a fun tool to build educational and interactive experiences. And it's really great at that. But for anything more elaborate, like forums, like questionnaires, even websites, it's not quite there yet. So at this stage, you could, for example, create a website mock-up but not really anything more functional with buttons that would lead somewhere or where you can just 
again, gather or send key data. The most I could get it to code for me was a simple mail to command, just like in my demo example, where once you click on the button to contact us, it actually opens up a new email message with my email address. That's why after a long time of tweaking and testing what I can actually do with Canva code, I went for a package recommendation tool instead of a working client questionnaire. Second, you don't have direct access to the generated code. You can see it when Canva AI writes it out during your conversation, but there's no way to copy or to export, to download it separately. And this is absolutely fine for students or creators who just want something simple, but for someone who already knows a bit of code or understands how to tweak it to connect things, it's not ideal. I really hope just like with data that Canva code keeps evolving fast for us and that with the next updates, we'll have a more elaborate experience and access to the code too. Third, the only way to make changes or edits is by continuing the conversation with Canva AI in the same window. Now we can ask it to tweak things, but you can't really manually dive into the code yourself. Another thing that a lot of people say is a limitation is that they lose track of their previous code projects. Now, the good news is there is actually way to find your old Canva code conversations is just a little hidden. All you have to do is to go to Canva AI again, select code for me, and then you go to the burger menu to the side. And from here, you see all the previous conversations, not all of them actually from what I can see, but I've been testing it on different accounts. But from here, you will see all your previous conversations, which can be super helpful if you just want to grab an old prompt or maybe continue refining an older project. So this is where our older project is. And again, I could just um, keep tweaking from here or open up this version like this. Again, I have such high hopes for Canva code and I'm sure they will keep evolving this feature. But even with these limitations, it's still an incredibly fun and powerful way to create new experiences right inside Canva. This is why I believe it's the first step on a very, very long journey towards making code much more accessible to everyone, just like they brought design to everyone with Canva just as a platform and then evolved it from a very, very basic tool to a powerful but still very intuitive platform. I honestly believe Canva Code will be an absolute game changer for creators and small business owners who want to stand out without spending months learning how to code. So I'm super excited for what's to come and I also can't wait to see what you create with it. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at Natalia Kalinska and shoot me a DM when you've got a new Canva Code project ready and make sure to check out this video to find all the other brand new Canva create updates. There are some incredibly useful ones there. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth Canva and content creation tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.